hello guys welcome back to piping engineers in today's video we will learn about the piping and instrumentation diagram so guys if you want to become a process engineer this is the basic thing that we all need to understand and learn so guys we will learn in today's video what are pnids how to read a pnid what are the legends that are used in pnids to prepare a pnid so guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so let's begin our today's video so guys what is a piping and instrumentation diagram piping and instrumentation diagram is a general thing that a process engineer hears day in day out he needs to know how what is a piping instrumentation diagram look like what are the various things that are captured in a piping instrumentation diagram and how to prepare that piping instrumentation diagram so basically a piping instrumentation diagram or pnid it is an interconnection diagram of piping equipment and instrumentation so all the things that will be mounted in your system are shown in pnid beats your piping beats your equipment beats your instrumentation and even the logics are also shown in the pnid that will further lead to the programming of the pro of the plant so the process is interconnected with the piping instrumentation piping and instrument symbols with control logics are also shown so guys it is a complete package of the way how your plant will look like and how your plant will work so this is the basics of uh, basics of the process plant any process plant so pnids are originally drawn at the design stage so i told you the best the basic document that is prepared when the engineering of a process is started is your process flow diagram and after that process flow diagram is frozen we go for the piping and instrumentation diagram so it is the combination of process flow data sheet or your pfd your mechanical process equipment design and the instrumentation engineering design so the all this all this data all these uh, divisions which need to do the detail engineering they need to have this pnid so this is the basic document after which the detail engineering of a component or a process has started so pnid is, is very important not only from process point of view but also from engineering foundation point of view so moving on to the next guys so in what is the information that is given in a pnid so in as i told you pnid is a very critical and crucial document so it contains the information um, that is required and useful uh, almost in every every stage of the plant so be it's your project management be it's your construction engineering they refer uh, they refer pnids from stage to stage and even after the plant is handed over to operations operations use operations guys or operations team or maintenance team use these pnids to understand the process so the first information that a pnid is shown it shows the tagging of all the mechanical equipment uh, like pipeline instrumentation and walls etc so what is a tag tag is basically the nomenclature the name that we give to the particular thing in a plant or we all have name like we are piping engineers and you all must be having your names but so the tagging or the nomenclature of every individual equipment or item that will be part of my plant it is shown and which is shown in pnid is given so uh, the first thing is tagging second thing is control logics so i told you so there are some dotted lines you you guys have if you have uh, seen a pnid already in your previous expense experiences so there are some dotted lines that are shown in pnids so those are control logics basically uh, the trip systems or the on off logics on off um, systems are shown with the help of dotted line and these dotted lines ultimately go to your plc go for plc programming so these are also shown in your pnids the and they are part of the pnid system after that some basic information like flow pressure temperature equipment sizing operating pressure ranges is also provided so when you see a pnid uh, flows are mentioned sometimes pressure temperature and equipment sizing like if a pump is there you will be uh, able to see flow and head of the pump is mentioned there and operating pressure range is also provided in pnid so it depends upon designer to designer or or upon company to company what sort of information they wanted to show in the pnid but generally the pnids have all this sort of information next the last but not the least the information uh, required for your design and construction in pnids we also show the battery limit 
and the battery limit or the scope sometimes if your supplier is supplying something and something is in your scope and you wanted to demarcate that in your PNID so that there is no future future confusion so we mark the battery limits or the scope line in the PNIDs itself next is your slope of line especially in steam lines or the fluid which will be moving free of gravity without any external pressure source the slope is also shown in PNIDs so that when a person reads it it can be understood easily that this is a free flow line or a slope is required while the construction of this pipeline has to be done so these are the basic informations that are provided in PNIDs moving on to the next slide guys so uh, to prepare a PNID there are some legends legends means uh, the PNID legend is used to prepare the PNID why because as I already told you the PNID has some symbols and basically uh, in different plants symbols are standardized so that there is no confusion while reading a PNID and everyone who is working in a plant have same sense of understanding so I have I have taken this legend um, so you can see this is the legend of a centrifugal pump so whenever you refer to a uh, whenever you refer to a PNID for which this legend is so the centrifugal pump will be shown in every PNID like this so similarly this is the symbol of a gear pump so gear pump will be shown like this you can see in walls also this is the symbol of gate walls this is your angle wall ball wall globe wall so all the walls if you refer to the PNIDs that will be prepared by using this legend they all will be capturing these symbols and a person can easily understand what sort of wall or what sort of thing or equipment is shown here so similarly these are symbol for miscellaneous pipings these are symbols for instruments like FT is shown here your pressure gauge is shown here your float vertex vertex type flow transmitter is shown and controls as I told you logics are also shown so in, instrumentation uh, flow balloon is shown here uh, your fail to open fail to close these are the special categories uh, used for opening and closing of the walls um, when the system fails so all the things that will be captured in PNID are shown here in the in the in the terms of symbols so all these symbols will be standardized uh, for the PNIDs which will be using this type of legends so as I am telling you again and again legends vary from company to company or from designer to designer so similarly those symbols vary from a uh, from a organization to organization or engineer to engineer but more or less these symbols can be easily understood because there are very less changes when we read PNID from one engineering company to another engineering company but legends vary moving on to the next slide guys so here i have captured this sample pnid just for understanding purpose please uh, your pnids may be more complex and even maybe more easy than this but uh, just to make you understand what are the things that are captured in pnid so i have uh, taken this pnid so the information again i told you this sort of line it is the incoming line so whenever the things are coming and from one system to another this sort of arrow is there and when the things are going outside this sort of arrow is shown into the system so I told you in previous slides that there is a battery limit shown here so you can see the first thing that is shown in here in this PNID is the battery limit symbol so uh, again I told you that there are uh, the tags of everything is there in PNID so you can see uh, this is the tag of the pipeline this is the tag of the wall again the tagline of pipeline again the tagline of instruments so so every everything has been provided the tags so again these tags or this nomenclature of pipelines your walls and instrumentation depends upon company to company every organization have their own tagging philosophy and they capture different sort of information while making the tags so but the crux is that while reading a PNID the first and foremost thing that you should look after is the tags that every everything that is captured or shown in a PNID is having its own tag or its own nomenclature so so you can see here uh, the pumps are shown the tagging of pumps is there and and the and the general general instruments that are part of the pumping system like like in a pumping system in the suction side this is your suction side we have a gate wall after that we have this pressure indicator or pressure gauge and discharge we have this pressure switch or pressure transmitters after that we are having this NRV or this on off wall so in a pumping system these are the basic things or basic system that is followed across everywhere and the and the minimum requirement 
to perform a piping of the pumping system so this sort of things are there so in between this tank is, tank is shown so there is there is the name of tank is written and the way the flow will be moving so suppose the flow is coming from uh, left hand side and it is moving towards right hand side you can see this arrow arrows are showing to which direction the flow is going and flow is coming so these are the basic information that are shown or captured in a pnid and very important to understand the basic process of the plant so guys hope you have understood something from this uh, video guys for more videos and updates please like follow and subscribe to our channel so guys thank you for watching today's video thanks a lot